Hello and welcome. I am Kate, also known as the Daily Tarot Girl. Welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. So if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even leave me a comment if you feel called to. And if you've watched my videos before, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. And uh, the deck I'm going to be using is called This Might Hurt by Isabella Rotman. And my intention with the reading today is just to get an overview, kind of a snapshot of some of the energies coming our way in the next week or so, so that we can make the most of things. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles for the beginning of the week, so Monday, Tuesday-ish. Now let me just see if I can get this card to stand up straight. This is the frustrating thing with my card holder is the cards are kind of always at a bit of an angle. Okay, so Page of Pentacles is for the beginning of the week. And I like how she's like holding the pentacle up and kind of studying it and kind of looking at it, paying attention to the details. And I do think of the Page of Pentacles as being like a studious kind of character. The Page of Pentacles is someone who likes to study and learn. And when when they find something that interests them or that calls to them, they want to learn everything they can about that thing. And that's the that's the vibe I kind of get with this Page of Pentacles card. So, the beginning of the week the message I get here is if there's something that interests you, or maybe even there's something you're trying to do, like you have some kind of goal, you're on some kind of mission, or even if you have some kind of dilemma, you're trying to figure something out, the Page of Pentacles is suggesting that you learn all you can about whatever the big thing in your life is right now, whatever is taking a lot of your energy, um, whatever, whatever big issues you have going on. Page of Pentacles says, learn as much as you can. Knowledge is power to the Page of Pentacles. So learn as much as you can about whatever it is <laughs> that you're, that you're either wanting to create or, uh, whatever you're really interested in right now. And I also feel like Page of Pentacles, this is, Page of Pentacles is like a st student. I think of the page as being kind of like a student of life and, and being open to learning, being open to learning, learning new things, being open-minded. These are all things that kind of pop into my head as I look at the Page of Pentacles. Now let's move on to the middle of the week. So we have the nine of pentacles for midweek. So for uh, like Wednesday, Thursday-ish. A nine of pentacles has a very different vibe. So nine of pentacles is all about, I want to say luxury. Like there's just this like luxurious kind of relaxed leisure sort of quality to the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is reminding you to slow down, to stop and smell the roses and to really delight in your senses and lean into the more sensual side of life. This is what will help you slow down. And as you slow down and lean into the more sensual side of things, it's almost like your mind starts to quiet. Your heart rate comes down. You feel calmer. You feel more connected to your body. And there's something about allowing that to happen that will put you into, I want to say like a zone of genius. When you're no longer busy, busy, busy. You're not rushing around. Your fight or flight uh, tendencies have kind of calmed down. This is when you can get some really great ideas. You can have some epiphanies when you're in this state. But essentially, the Nine of Pentacles is saying, 
slow down, stop and smell the roses, and and again, really lean into kind of the sensual side of life. So that might look like, uh, you know, making time for leisure and having a nice bath or something like that, or going for a walk outside and like literally stopping and smelling the roses or just like paying attention to the bright colors around you or the feel of the breeze on your skin, like really using your five senses to, to feel into your environment. Your five senses are like tentacles. They can go out into the environment and pick things up. And so really using your senses midweek as you move through the week. And then we have strength. Now this is interesting because both nine of pentacles and strength shows a woman with an animal. And in both of these cases, the animals are being tamed. So we have the falcon in the nine of pentacles that has a hood on it. Um, and so it can't, I guess it can't fly away. Uh, so it's, it's been tamed. And I, I think it might even be on a leash. I'm not sure, which is an interesting symbol. It's kind of this symbol of sort of that wild nature being caged in a way. It's, it's the dark side of the, of the nine of pentacles. And then with strength, we have the lion who's being tamed, but I feel like there's more, there's almost more gentleness with, with the strength card. Um, okay. So let's, let's talk about strength, but I just think that's kind of interesting. Both of these have like wild creatures who are, are kind of being, being tamed and being subdued. And so if we think about that for a minute, I think that the the wild creatures can be a symbol of our own wild nature. And yeah, perhaps we're perhaps we're trying to tame that wild side of ourselves this week. In the case of strength, I often see the lion can represent our instinctual side. It can represent like our inner beast. So it, that could be like, um, not necessarily your shadow side, but it could be like parts of yourself that you're struggling to tame or to understand. And strength is saying that if you're, if you're trying to tame those inner beasts, being gentle and seeking to understand is the key not force. So strength is also about basically taking a very like compassionate, gentle approach to things this week. Or I mean, the card is at the end of the week. So the weekend, so kind of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So a really gentle approach might be needed. And this might be when it comes to other people in your life, relationships, conversations that you're having, relationships with coworkers, uh, etc. It could also be about the relationship you have with yourself. And again, sort of um, dealing with your, your little inner beasts and, and, and tendencies, trying to sort of tame yourself in some way. Okay, let's look at all of the cards together. Um, I feel like the the symbol that shows up in all of them are mountains in the background. So we have a big peaked mountain with the page of pentacles, which I feel kind of like represents a goal, having some sort of goal that the page is focused on. Nine of pentacles, there's a few mountains in the background. And I almost feel like the mountains represent sort of the difficulties and challenges of life. And they're in the background, they're far away. And the woman, the nine of pentacles is you know, in her garden. She's far away from those difficulties and challenges of day-to-day -day life. And with strength, we have more mountains in the background. These ones seem a little bit sharper and more peaked than in the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but again, I feel like they might represent challenges. And, and strength, strength is an interesting card because it does represent, it's like a reminder that you have both inner strength, you have outer strength, you have the ability to 
smooth certain situations over. You have the ability to soothe yourself and to soothe others. There's a real soothing kind of feel to this card, but that it might be, cha it's not always easy to do that. It might be challenging at times. Um, okay, I'm just going to take another look at these cards, see if there's anything else that stands out to me. To sum these cards up, and, and I invite you to, to also kind of gaze at these cards and see, uh, looking at these cards, we actually have five characters. We have page, the Page of Pentacles, we have the Woman and the Nine of Pentacles, the Falcon, and then we have the Lion and the Maiden in Strength. So there's five characters in total. Which character do you relate to the most? Which one do you see as yourself? If you look at all of them and consider their roles and what they're doing, which one do you feel like? Do you feel like that falcon who wants to fly but can't because <laughs> they have a hood on, they can't see where they're going? Or do you feel like you're the lion being tamed? Or do you feel like you're the maiden who's doing the taming? Or the page of pentacles who's studying something? Um, just noticing which figure you're most drawn to, which, which figure you see yourself in, and just kind of taking note of that. It feels like we're starting the week off on kind of an inquisitive note. It pays to be curious this week and to learn as much as you can about the things that are important to you right now. Knowledge is power. That's the, that's the main uh, message I get with the Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, stop, slow down, feel into your five senses, stop and smell the roses. And strength is letting you know that you're stronger than you think, but the path to strength isn't always obvious. It's sometimes more, so being strong and taming those beasts, whether they're inner beasts or outer beasts. Um, sometimes it's the soft, gentle, compassionate approach that works best. That's what I'm getting with, with strength. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the reading up here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know your own thoughts on these cards. And I hope you have a wonderful week.